What's up guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over the jump shot meter. Everything about it, man, because a lot of people have been talking about how trash the shot meter is this year. And what you guys should do to shoot. A lot of people have been saying stick. I'm going to show you the best way to shoot an NBA 2K21 My Team. How to green better. How to become a better player overall in the game in this video before we get into it guys 100 likes on this video will be greatly greatly appreciated man if we get 100 likes we're most likely going to do a ton of giveaways this year on a big 2k21 my team we might be doing our first giveaway this weekend so if you guys don't follow the twitter make sure to follow twitter and as well we do buy and sell mt so if you want fast reliable mt make sure to hit me up man i'm probably one of the fastest people that do get your mt so make sure to hit me up now we're gonna hop into this freestyle we're going to show you what is exactly good with the meter. I know a lot of people have been bugging about it, but here we go. We just got Diamond Eat Archibald. So here's one thing I want to show you. I want to show you how broken the stick is compared to using Square and or X on PS4 and Xbox. So here we go, man. We're going to shoot with the stick first, okay? Now we got a slightly left. Okay, now if you, if you look at these percentages in your game, slightly left versus that shot okay now that shot obviously had a higher chance going in we're gonna go to the mid-range that's a green on the mid-range using square going to the mid-range using the stick green again okay let's do it again green all right slightly left is not gonna go in ready i'm gonna miss purposely using that oh my god hold up so that was the that was using square and of course in the video we're gonna miss that was using square green using the stick green and of course in this video this is a stick as well green we're gonna use this stick right here so slightly left it actually goes in so but realistically so one thing i've noticed versus the stick versus the square okay so on free throws when you use the stick okay if you do use the stick and you get like a slight all right so that's one thing i'll talk about so right okay it's highlighted in yellow which means that is an early which i see early's going right there that was square that was stick slightly left okay it's going in surprisingly that was stick slightly right miss ready stick slightly early slightly early that's also a miss so shooting with the stick versus the, the square okay what you guys really want to do in my opinion i know they said that was the stick right there as you can see slightly right that was the stick right there slightly right that goes in looks like it's good in this hot spot um, so one thing I want to talk about. So everyone's saying if you want to be a better player, use the stick. Okay. As you guys can see, it looks like I'm very good with the stick, but realistically, I'm not the best. Now, in my opinion, people are saying if you use a stick, you're a more skilled player. In my opinion, that isn't true. In my opinion, square, you have a better possibility of actually making the shot. That was square right there. We missed stick missed as well. So Here's what I'm saying. If you want to become a better shooter in NBA 2K21, my team, just use square. In my opinion, there's literally no reason you should use stick, okay? Why is that? Because if you get slightly rights and slightly lefts constantly, you're most likely not going to make your jump shots. Even though for some reason I'm making it here with the stick, that's kind of strange. Usually I never make it with the stick, but in my opinion, stick versus shot meter if you're an online game you're in an unlimited game using stick right i'm telling you right now you're gonna get way more slightly late and slightly right so i'm laying on freestyle right now if you go into a game and you put use square first off i you've been using square for years or x for years on xbox you're definitely gonna want to just use square so in my opinion does there's a way better chance you make your shot with square first off with your confidence okay so now that's the one thing i want to talk about stick versus square slightly lefts slightly rights they have a very lower shot of going in versus slightly earlies versus slightly lates okay that's one thing i want to talk about and now here is the thing if you do it on free throw so for instance gus williams has a great free throw nate archibald great free throw if you use the at um the analog stick while you're shooting free throws it shows if you get like a slightly late you get like 65 percent if you get a slightly early, it shows like 85%. Now, that is like the same exact thing on shooting. So now, when you do shoot this, 
this shot with the stick versus square, okay? That was square right there. That's a green. We're going to use stick right here. That's not a green. Slightly left. It's a brick. It's a complete brick. So now, if you think about the percentages in shooting, square or and or eggs definitely have better de bleh, definitely have better uh, percentages in shooting with the square versus the stick. So now, here's what doesn't make sense to me. Slightly right, complete brick. Slight, uh, that's a green, but I guess you have a higher percent chance of greening. So right there, slight, slightly right, that's a complete brick, okay? We're gonna shoot with the square, green bean, okay? This is what I'm saying. All that's slightly late, we're gonna miss that too. But what I'm saying is right now, stick versus, um, what's it called? Stick versus X. Percentage is a lot higher, and I promise you this, is if you use square and or X. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm telling you right now, if you want to become a better shooter this year, definitely use square and or X. Don't even touch the right stick. I promise you, first off, you have to have, you have to be very, like, I, in my opinion, square is a lot easier. The meter, bro, you actually have to, like, look at that tiny little bar. It's a lot harder to see. And using square, man, it's more fluid. It makes more sense. You're holding the button. Using the right stick is a lot more harder, especially for you new players. I would just stick to square. Yes, you probably have an easier chance of going green, but here's the thing. If you do use white, okay, you're using white, correct? That, this is all stick right now. I'm greening stick. Now, if you're shooting with, if you're consistently hitting whites with the stick, you gotta, I don't know how I'm making these shots right now. If you're consistently hitting shots with, uh, what's it called? Stick. You can stay with stick, but if you're constantly missing shots, with stick like right there wide left well, stick is kind of hard bro wide right air ball this is what i'm saying slightly left okay we're making the slightlies but i'm telling you online you make you do slightlies with the stick you're not you're not hitting your shots i promise you not only that square is a lot more fluent you have a I, you have a higher percent chance of actually making the shot with square and i promise you this slightly lefts versus slightly earlies slightly earlies are going to go in most of the time that's all i want to say also People with quick draw, people have faster jump shots. It's a lot harder to use the stick with them. For instance, Nate Archibald, pretty fast shot. It's hard to make it with him. Now, also, if you want to talk about percentages, like I said, definitely look towards free throws. Free throws, for instance, are actually very, very, very hard with the stick. Now, if you don't get a green on the free throw, you're going to get a slightly left or slightly right. And your percentage chance is going to be 60-something percent. Now... 60 something percent with the stick then you get like 80 percent chance without the stick now i was shooting free throws with ben simmons and ben simmons using the stick on a free throw if i got a slightly late had a 39 percent chance without the stick he has a 60 percent chance so i just want to talk about the chances and whatnot in my opinion guys to shoot square it's a lot easier yes it might not be skilled as they say but i promise you you're gonna make more shots using square than the meter that's also if you're good and are bad at the game. Me, personally, I switch it up. It all depends what situation I'm in. I like using square more, but right here, as you can see, I am definitely greening with the shot stick. So it's really just completely up to you. I just want to get this video out because, honestly, a lot of people have been saying the shooting this year is trash. In my opinion, man, it's really not bad. It's just all about preference and how you do in certain situations, man. For layups, I'm using square. For mid-ranges, I don't know why. I like the stick. Three-point shots, square. Don't ask why. That's just how I play my game. If you guys want to try that out, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please, just let me know what you guys think on um pretty much everything. Everything that's going around. But other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. I just wanted to get this out to help you guys. I hope it does. Shooting with... uh. The, well, uh, the stick on mid-range for some reason seems a lot more easier i guess there's a higher percent green chance obviously with mid-ranges but as you can see i'm balling up with nate archibald right when we switch to square we miss and then the mid-range we're using the right stick and it's money so i don't know on layups it's completely up to you it doesn't really matter on layups i use square three-point shots the meter right there probably gonna miss the meter outside of three-point shots definitely easier with square but other than that man Hope you guys did enjoy. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Other than that, man, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.